Shrek game. Nigga, why would we gameplay on a game I'm about to play? Rappers are known for having some of the most diehard fan bases, sometimes even more than pop stars. Their fans travel to different countries to see them, tattoo their favorite rappers on themselves, and more. But what happens when fans get too diehard? Well, sometimes it turns toxic and the fans form a parasocial relationship with the rapper and end up becoming quite mean to them. Almost as if they aren't fans of the rapper. Red and that's what we'll be talking about today. Boy, I'm Rashad Fashir, to and these are rappers whose fans end up bullying oh, them. Nigga still banned. Uh, Ray, give me your name on Discord, bro. <clears throat> First up, we got Ken Carson. After blowing up with the song Yale, both on TikTok and for being played with Cardi's Pro J, as well as the first artist signed to Cardi's record label Opium, Ken Carson slowly built his own cult following, piggybacking on Cardi's success, and eventually establishing his own lane. But of course, since he was signed to Playboy Cardi, a lot of his fans overlapped with Wolf that of Playboy Cardi's own fans, known for being their fair share of toxic and crazy after years of abuse from Playboy Cardi's narcissistic tendencies and not dropping music. So when Ken Carson started coming up, I guess he was just an easy target for their fan base. At first, fans would just call his music trash here and there because not all fans could get into his music. But it didn't take long for fans to start making fun of him. And it all began with one post on the Playboy Cardi subreddit. What's interesting is the Ken Carson hate train was a butterfly effect. A butterfly effect is the idea that small things can have non-linear impacts on a complex system. In this case, the complex system is Ken Carson's sanity and reputation. It all started with an innocent post, not meaning any harm, posted to Playboy Cardi subreddit six days before Whole Lot Red dropped, when Ken Carson was relatively unknown titled, Why Does Ken Carson Look Like a Goomba? A character from Mario. The comments on the posts were pretty tame. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. What? <laughs> Why did someone randomly just say that shit? But the snowball began rolling. What's really funny about this post is someone came back and said this started it all. And the original Reddit user said, appreciate you. Like he was spreading awareness for a good cause or something. Pretty soon, fans were referring to Ken Carson as Goomba. When his fans were asked about what they thought when people called him Goomba, they said, It's sometimes funny, and because he looks like one. Yeah, they're not the nicest. He ignored it for a long time, but eventually, Ken had to- Huh? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Nigga sent me a fucking Ken Carson plush. Why is that on Amazon? To break his silence and speak on the yeah, issue, saying if someone calls him anything but the nicknames he prefers to go by or Ken Carson's, he would do something to them. He didn't directly say what because I guess it's embarrassing for him, but it only got bigger. Currently, a fan is making money by selling Goomba what plushies on Amazon, is? sitting at a four and a half star review, and you can even find them on Walmart's online store. It went so far that fans were even trying to find fake, cheaper versions of this Goomba plushie. And they started throwing Goomba plushies at shows. Not once, but multiple times. In Germany, Rolling Loud, they were throwing Goombas everywhere. Some fans even called him Goomba in real life while he was ordering oh, wow. food. But fans wouldn't just call Ken Carson Goomba though. They'd also make fun of his appearance. And it would affect him more negatively than the Goomba nickname. Goombas aren't exactly flattering creatures and Ken Carson was probably aware of it. A lot of fans actually just called him ugly outright and it would have a pretty strong effect on his confidence. Ken Carson used to love to smile and spread positivity, saying, I don't know, I just want to be good energy. I don't want to be like, no, damn, super down. That's fucked up, though. That bullet is, damn, that's fucked up. Don't even really think about it. Like, damn, bro. They were like, gonna, all right, nigga. Can't smile no more, like. Well, I guess not, because after fans started calling him Goomba and ugly, he began to hide his smile. He went months without smiling publicly, and I don't know if we've seen anything like this ever. He just stopped smiling in pictures altogether. And at that point, people began realizing it was having a serious impact on him and showing remorse, even defending him. But that didn't last forever. And very recently, a new wave of hate has been pouring in due to his weight gain. Fans have been calling him fat, making jokes about Ken Carson being able to eat a fan and being obese. The fat jokes began a year ago, but recently they were taken to another level. Fans have been making before and after compilations of his weight gain, reminiscing on when he was skinny, and joking about how long he takes to drop, saying, By the time that album drops, it's gonna be in a Fat Albert type build, but it's literally gonna be over. Big as hell. Did he lose already? Some fans are even worried for his health and asking why he let himself go. Hey, so old. is Ken Carson Bro, to- never lost weight fast as fuck. This nigga skinny again. Go back a little. What happened? People are so mean. 
selling the pictures all together. And at that point, people began realizing it was having a serious impact on him and showing remorse, even defending him. But that didn't last forever. And very recently, a new wave of hate has been pouring in due to his weight gain. Fans have been calling him fat, making jokes about Ken Carson being able to eat a fan and being obese. The fat jokes began a year ago, but recently they were taken to another level. Fans have been making before and after compilations of his weight gain, reminiscing. Shit, even funny. Shit. Why are you doing that? Like, you see that, Devin? Bro, what? Oh my God. Why everybody keeps talking about that Drake dick? Yes, I seen the nigga dick. Damn, bro, I seen it. Damn. I seen the dick, bro. Yo, shit, is not bigger. Stop capping. When is the fuck up fan caught? Okay on when he was skinny and joking about how long he takes to drop saying by the time that album drop gonna be in a fat albert type bill but it's literally gonna be over big as hell wobbling every step some fans are even worried for his health and asking why he let himself go so is ken carson to blame not at all what's happening to him is seriously messed up and he should honestly just stay off social media for a long time i don't even know what to say next up we got lucky hailing from chicago lucky has been rapping for 10 years and throughout lucky. that window he has gained nothing short of a cult fan so base different. watching and reacting to his every move it was okay for a while but towards the second half of his career fans began to turn their backs on him and bully him for the weight he gained it began in 2019 and fans immediately called him out for it it was actually due to substance abuse which he has a very traumatic history with getting hooked at a young age and even having to take a year-long break from music due to the issues stemming from a substance abuse after being hospitalized for a week in 2016. So his addiction was and still isn't really a joke, if you get what I'm saying. However, his fans didn't care at all and mocked him. The first time he started receiving hate was when a picture of him holding his stomach went viral on an Instagram live. A fan even made it their phone case. Normally, jokes like that die out, but for some reason, it just stuck and got bigger with Lucky. And in 2022, a fan rubbed his belly at a show. Lucky retaliated and bit on him and afterwards, said he would have done worse because the fan didn't even show any remorse. Most people thought it was deserved and someone even said that they experienced something similar at a Lucky show saying at the Houston concert, some people in the crowd were talking about, let me rub your belly Lucky. Crazy. However, to most fans, it wasn't serious. It was a joke and they'd make TikToks mocking the situation. A year later, Lucky spoke on it on the popular streamer's Bruce's stream saying, He was like, grab my stomach. Uh -huh. And I'm like, bro, stop. And he was like, he was like, and just kept doing it. it kept I'm like, bro, stop! Like, that's weird, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, who the fuck would do that? <laughs> Yo, why is niggas grabbing niggas' stomachs? <laughs> that's some shit Delta would do, though. That's some shit Delta would actually do, though. Look at me in the eyes, like, like on some shit. <laughs> On some sick shit, bruh. So Lucky's fans infatuation with his belly, that's a crazy sentence, hasn't stopped and doesn't look like it will. This fan made a TikTok called Fat Jesus rubbing his belly, referring to Lucky as Fat Jesus, of course. And it's not a hater, it's actually a fan, because this guy has Lucky as his profile picture. So these new fans of Lucky's genuinely do not care about his well-being. To them, he's kind of like a joke who just makes music that they try and relate to. Furthermore, it became a trend for fans to cosplay him and rub their belly with a cup in their hand. Here's some examples. If anything, this just shows that Lucky doesn't care because most people would get into shape after this much hate. On Instagram lives, fans constantly commented, Shake that belly. Whoa. And Lucky's fans obsessions with his belly seems to have no bounds. In a street interview, when a- Hey man, that shit worked with me, man. Look at me now. Ha. Skinny as it could ever be, man. You know. Hey man. What can I say? Fan asked what he would say to Lucky. He said, yeah, I'll, I'll rub his belly. Ask him, can I rub his belly? You know what I'm saying? Can I rub your belly? Please. <laughs> These people act like Lucky is an animal at a petting zoo. It's actually pretty funny. Lucky is a pretty chill guy, but eventually he got pretty mad, rightfully so, and went on Instagram Live to address the situation, admitting, Like, bro, I got fat over a pandemic. Okay. Like, I wake up every day and do what the I want. I gain weight. I'm a human. But justified it by saying, I gain weight over a pandemic too, though. But it was nothing I could do about that. That's why I lost weight now. It is so crazy. Niggas were calling me fat. Nigga, it was the pandemic. I had nothing to do with eat, but for play the game. Niggas wanted me to go outside in the gym. Nigga, I was in cold. I don't know how you niggas ain't expect me to fucking gain weight, but shit. Hey, man. 200 pounds, 5'6", is it skinny? All right. You want this ball, nigga? You want this band, nigga? Hmm? 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 Boy, you want this band? Shit. We can get your ass out of here.
You put it into your ass. What? Bro, I make hella money, bro. I do what the fuck I want to do all day, literally. But he slipped up and said something that made fans not take him very seriously. When he said, Like, for real, bro. I'm healthier than you. I eat healthier than you. Which, you know, I don't want to be mean, but... He also addressed the excuse that fans make, saying, Stop saying we just worried about you. He said it's a bad excuse, and they should... You worry about your self, you bum. Stop worrying about me then. Worry about your self. That's not a good excuse. And just to reiterate... He was really, really mad. Y'all be pissing me off with my brother, bro. For real. Y'all are pissing me off. Stop saying that shit, bro. Little did he know, it was just the beginning and he was feeding the fire. The comments were not forgiving, saying he a lean demon. He's running out of breath. And making fun of him for saying he's healthy. But today, it seems like he's in a state of acceptance. And explained he just wants his fans to be positive, saying, Yeah, so f***ing mean. Stop being that way. I know it's not that serious, but Jesus Christ, give me a break, but... His fans still don't care. They're even making fun of his breathing when you push your fat from your stomach into your ass. Bitch ass nigga, I ain't get no fucking BBL. Stop saying that shit. No the fuck I didn't. I mean talkies. Showing off a chain, Yo, his fans made fun of him for being out of breath. And on his subreddit, fans asked, why is Lucky so fat? And even went as far to document his weight gain, asking, when did Lucky start getting fat? Just constantly making fun of how he looks, like saying he looks like Shrek when he was saving Fiona. <laughs> Not, oh my god, why are niggas like this? What the fuck? Bro, niggas are mean, bro. Yo, niggas are fucking mean. Oh my god. Yo, niggas is actually mean as fuck, bro. Come on now. In 2020, he even included him getting fat into some of his music. On the song Unlimited, he said, We get high, we get fat, which sort of became a meme in his community. So after all of this, is this Lucky's fault? Not really. He didn't ask for these types of fans, but he has been making a lot of money. This was 2020, bro. This was 2020, man. This is the same person. Look. Just literally, just stop eating so much. All I had to do was stop eating so much. I used to eat all the damn time that was my problem i just stopped eating so much I didn't, I didn't even work out i literally just stopped eating so much and it just went away man that's all you gotta do man just don't eat i know it might be seeing hard to some of y'all people but you know just don't eat man you good money as of late and these are the people responsible for that Bruce, so wait. i guess it's as what? he says a blessing in the curse what wait what wait what no you don't lie you're a cap you're a fucking cap you're bruce lee bruce like, what you mean, Bruce? Like, 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 Bruce, Bruce? Bruce, Bruce? Nigga, cap. No the fuck he didn't. He got leaked a fucking movie? Huh? Man, Bruce Lee. Curse at the same time. The final rapper who gets made fun of by their fans is Summers, aka the biggest bird. And this is the only rapper who somewhat is responsible for the way their fans act. Summers has been rapping for about seven day. years and has been popular for about I four. And recently, he's eating. been getting clowned. One more. Listen, gang. You might look skinny, nigga. But all under that goddamn skinny, you're fat. It's only because you're 6'4". If you wasn't 6'4", you'd really be fat, nigga. If you wasn't 6'4", you'd be fat as fuck. You so happy you got, man, if I had your height, nigga, man, I would be the most skinniest nigga. Cause I'm not even fat, bro. I'm just fucking, man, this shit. I'm just fucking short, bro. Non-stop by his fans. From everything from their speculations about his financial status, to the way he looks, to his struggles with substance abuse. Summers began to struggle with substances when he was 18 and tried it for the first time. At the time, he was a young, skinny kid, but fast forward to years later, he had started to gain weight from them, and his fans were not kind. It began a couple years ago. Right, let's look at my stomach. Let's, let's look at my stomach. I know I don't got no six-pack, but I know my shit ain't that big, bro. Bro, my shit... Bro, my stomach not that big, bro. Like, come on now. My shit used to be, like, way bigger. Like, 
like pump plumpier. Now your ass. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. No, let me see. Niggas just start. Niggas start getting weird and shit. Y'all yeah. got an any. Y'all got any's or Audis for y'all belly buttons. Oh my god. Go. Fans were teasing oh, him for like quote unquote Yo, getting his weight go. up. In the comments under another post, a fan commented, You need to stop before it's too late. If only he knew. And They'd make fun of him on a regular basis, with absolutely no filter, making fun of his neck size and wrist size. But eventually, they weren't even making fun of him. They were genuinely annoyed and trying to get him to better his life. One fan called him out for bringing, wait for it, lean to a restaurant, saying, this guy's got a problem. And fans called him out saying he was gonna fall off for being a junkie and choosing his cup over his career. His fans started to say his addiction would slowly lead to his music quality deteriorating, explaining, how his addiction changes behavior and relationship to music. I think he's addicted to the dopamine he gets when he releases albums. It seems like the money and drugs have kind of made him a shallow person. He also got older, fatter, and his voice changed. He doesn't hit in high notes like he used to. And today, fans have just gone sad over what his addiction has come to. A year ago, Summers even responded to the fat allegations, saying his girl says he's fine, while also saying, I know I'm fat, man, I could lose it. This, 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 man, y'all know where this from. Come on now, y'all know where this from, man. That's, that's natural, that's what's gonna happen. Even really doing it, I really live on rapping. Okay, so what's even funnier about this is after he said that, he then proceeded to say, God forgive him, reach for his lean cup, and start blasting NBA Young Boy. What's ironic is years before Summers had gained the weight, he made fun of a fast food worker for their weight, calling them a shark. 130, 50,000 pounds? Make a down, a shark. <laughs> years later, he was subjected to the same treatment by his own fans, except it was a thousand times worse. In addition to all of this, Summers has been part of his own fair share of shenanigans to say the least, where he's embarrassed himself and his fans have come for his neck. Fans started calling him cringe, for lying about security knowing who he was at the club and saying he wasn't from the hood. He's just been under constant fire for the way he's been acting. He threw a tantrum for not getting caramel in his McFlurry and receiving special treatment because of who he was. Fans took wind of this and started calling him broke to purposely poke at his insecurities, making fun of how Summers couldn't stop flexing and spending after he flexed his electricity bill and touch sensor faucets. In fact, after a Summers fan made a post about how Summers was broke, he posted a bunch of money to story to respond, and this excessive flexing has given him the nickname, the most humble rapper. This is mean, but sometimes it can be seen as a playful back and forth, and it's not too bad, sometimes. Summers' privacy was invaded by fans as well. A couple years ago, Summers' mom, sister, brother, and his own Instagram was taken down by a fan. His mom's account had tons of memories, thousands of pictures that she never got back, which was pretty sad. So Summers, like the other two rappers on this nah, list- Nah, 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 okay, that's too much, nah. Don't, bro, don't go for a nigga family, now. Nah. That's, that's over. That's like, mm, you got to chill. Nah, bro. All the other shit was, uh, nah, that's crazy. That's crazy as fuck. Nigga, I would have been, man. I would have crashed out, nigga. Man, I would have crashed the fuck out with IG Live, bro. This is a victim, and even though he does do some funny stuff, he definitely doesn't deserve the treatment he receives. All right. So, do these rappers deserve the type of treatment they receive from their fans? To me, no. The extent some of these fans take it to is insane. And a lot of them have no boundaries or know where to draw the line. I'm honestly very curious on how these guys cope with the amount of hate they receive on social media. And lastly, I just want to say I made this video because it was an interesting topic and story. And by making this video, I'm ironically part of the problem. No one deserves to get bullied like this, but nigga, if you're fat, lose weight, bro. If you're not fat... If you want to be fat and you want to be fat, then you could be fat, bro. That's is what it is at the end of the day, bro. You know? I'm in the middle right now, so I'm really deciding what I want to be.